Hey everyone, welcome to 601 Travels and to the What Makes This Place Great series, where we explore U.S. cities and points of interest and then tell you our favorite top 10 spots that you need to see. If you've ever wondered what there is to do in Greenville, South Carolina, then you are in luck. Today, we're going to see and explore what makes Greenville a great place. Before we get started, please hit that subscribe button to join our travel community. We do top 10s just like this one, plus city tours and highway drives. While you're watching, comment below where you would like to go next. The city of Greenville has almost 69,000 people and is known unofficially as G Vegas, located in northwestern South Carolina, right about here on a map. Greenville sits at the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains and is a really small, big city. It's easily connected to larger cities like Asheville, Chattanooga, Charlotte, and even Atlanta. Still, it's surrounded by rural land and has tons of green space. 39 parks alone in town. Their downtown is nicely laid out and has a suburban feel to it and there are plenty of restaurants, coffee shops, and places for entertainment. So let's go ahead and take a look at the top 10 things that makes Greenville a great place. Number 10, Falls Park on the Reedy. A little bit of peace in the middle of the city, Falls Park is a 32 acre park that's in the West End District of downtown. Given its name, you can probably figure out that the Reedy River is the focal point of the park with its beautiful cascading waterfalls. The park itself is 32 acres and contains a collection of public gardens, art sculptures, and the remains of a wall from the 1776 grist mill that used to stand there. Visitors can take advantage of the library bridge and get great views of the falls from above. This is an awesome spot to go in the city to do some exercising, relaxing, or just listen to the water. Number nine, Roper Mountain Science Center. Roper Mountain Science Center is a great place to go with children to learn about science, life, and space. There is a number of educational buildings here designed to engage their visitors while learning that include a planetarium and an observatory and a butterfly sanctuary. The center has programs throughout the year to encourage learning such as starry nights, science on wheels, and summer adventures. The views you will get from the crisp night South Carolina skies here are unlike anywhere else. Outside there are nature trails that traverse the forests and the mountains where you will see many types of wildlife and have the opportunity to sit and relax along the way. For a fun-filled adventure that will be informative, make sure to check out Roper Mountain Science Center. Number 8. Greenville County Museum of Art This museum is considered one of the top art museums in the country and definitely one of the top spots in Greenville. There's a wide variety of art on display for you to view and study, including international and local artists. It features the world's largest public collection of watercolors by American artist Andrew Weath. Ranging from federal portraits to contemporary abstractions, the museum invites its visitors to see American history through the artist's eyes. Other highlights include works from David Drake, Georgia O'Keeffe, and Andy Warhol. If you're interested in art at the least bit, you'll enjoy your time here studying the exhibits. Number 7. Greenville Zoo Opened in 1960, the Greenville Zoo is another great family-friendly destination in the region. No need to travel to a larger city to have a nice day out. They have everything here. All within a modest 14 acres, you'll see lions, giraffes, leopards, snakes, and more. It's not the largest zoo you'll ever visit, but it is enough to keep you busy for a few hours without getting tired and worn out. 
At the zoo, there are a number of walking and bicycle paths, playgrounds, tennis and volleyball courts, along with picnic areas. The zoo takes great measures to make sure their animals are well taken care of. If you have kids or if you just love animals yourself, the Greenville Zoo is a great option. Number 6. Caesars Head State Park If you're interested in outdoor activities, Caesars Head State Park is the place to be. Known for its panoramic vistas that offer views that are out of this world, you'll see natural landscapes that are untouched and just beautiful. Trails are everywhere and are used for hiking, mountain biking, and climbing. You will see a wide variety of wildlife in the park like hawks and falcons, salamanders, and even black bears. If you're feeling adventurous, a hike to the top will reward you with things you just can't see from the ground. This is one of the best ways to see the natural beauty that South Carolina offers, and it's so close to downtown Greenville. Number five, Swamp Rabbit Trail. For a great way to explore the city and get your exercise at the same time, head over to Swamp Rabbit Trail. This 20 mile trail runs along the Reedy River on the path of a long gone railroad track. There are no cars as it is solely for pedestrian use only. The trail will connect you with Gateway Park, Cleveland Park, Green Forest Park, and Falls Park on the Reedy. You will also be alongside many businesses in Greenville that are worth supporting and checking out as well, including restaurants that will keep you going for the duration. The trail is also lined with benches and gazebos along the way to stop, rest, and take in those beautiful views of Greenville while you're there. Number four, Peace Center. The Peace Center is a nationally recognized artistic and cultural destination located on six acres along the Reedy River in downtown Greenville. Inside there is a 2100 seat concert hall and a 400 seat theater that is perfect for Broadway, music, theater, and dance performances. There's also an outdoor amphitheater, patrons lounge, and plenty of room for event spaces and meetings. This is a very popular place for residents and visitors alike because of its state-of-the-art design, amenities, and location. Each year there are hundreds of events hosted here. With its close proximity to the falls and the river, it's a neat place to check out from the outside and the inside if you are lucky enough to attend an event. Number 3. Haywood Mall. While more and more shopping centers are closing their doors due to a decline in shoppers, the Haywood Mall in Greenville isn't doing this. This is where people in the area go when they need a wide variety of options all in one place. Located downtown, the Haywood Mall has two floors and regional and national stores. It has over 1.2 million square feet of retail space and contains over 130 stores for you to spend some money at. Be sure to stop in here if you've got some shopping to do or just want to see what is there. Number 2. Greenville Theater The Greenville Theater dates back to 1926 and you can tell. It's got that early century design and nostalgia factor that you only see in these old buildings. Seeing a Broadway show or musical act here just sounds and looks better because of all the atmosphere the building retains. With the capacity to hold 600 guests, it is the area's longest producing professional theater. It hosts a number of different types of events throughout the year, including comedies, dramas, concerts, mysteries, along with plays and musicals. These acts are local as well as touring large productions. When you're in Greenville and want to take a night out, be sure to check out this theater to see if anything is going on. Number 1. 
BMW Zentrum Museum. This is the only one of its kind in North America and is a must visit if you are into BMWs or automotive in general. With over 28,000 square feet of space in the visitor center, you will see the past, present, and future of the famed car. There are many exhibits of different vehicles for you to view, both vintage and present day, and you'll learn about the history of the company, not only with automobiles, but aircrafts and motorcycles as well. You can take a plant tour to see the vehicles being built before your eyes and see for yourself if turn signals are in fact offered as an option or standard equipment. This is an awesome destination if you're into science and engineering as well. All right, everybody, that'll do it for today's video. Do you think I missed anything? Comment below what your favorite thing is about Greenville, South Carolina. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Take care. Take care.